All right. So that's it for the demo. Um, Again, feel free to submit questions. I have not seen any question come up yet from the audience. So maybe we can open up the Q&A session by going through one or two questions that we often see come up. Um, Dan, so um, as we saw in the demo, GitLab has its own issue tracking. But say we want to use GitLab with another issue tracking system like Jira, uh, does that work? And can you share how, how that will work? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we do have many customers that uh, that want to stay with Jira, uh, and we have integration uh, with Jira so that uh, when a uh, ticket is created in Jira, it auto creates a ticket in uh, GitLab, uh, an issue, uh, and then we can track it from there. And then any changes to the issue in GitLab also automatically get put back into the Jira ticket. And so that's all offered and available out of out of the box with the uh, with GitLab. Awesome. Thank you, Dan. Um, still no questions. So maybe we can go through one, one more question that we often see come up. So in terms of Kubernetes clusters, uh, can, can folks connect to any Kubernetes clusters or only ones we're integrated to? Uh, you can connect to any Kubernetes cluster um, that is following the standard Kubernetes API. So uh, that's quite a few of them most all of them, um, including all, all of the uh, Kubernetes services that are provided, for example, by Google, AWS, uh, IBM, uh, VMware, et cetera. So, so yes, you can connect to, to all of those. All right. Today we have a very quiet crowd, so <laughs> I think <laughs> maybe, you. I know, let's, let's go with one more question just because we still have sure. quite a few more minutes here. Um, so, you know, uh, going a layer deeper into the use of CI/CD, um, can folks customize the auto DevOps flow? Uh, yes, they can. Uh, so what we showed you in the auto DevOps flow is what comes out of the box. Uh, there is a, uh, a template which is defined, a file template. We have many different um, CI YAML file uh, templates, which is how you define the pipeline in, in GitLab. So, um, so I should use this opportunity to point out in GitLab, the flow you saw is not the only pipeline that you can run. You can run any pipeline you want to design. And we have lots of templates for lots of different types of pipelines. Uh, one of those is the auto DevOps pipeline that you see run automatically. Uh, so you can very easily create a, uh, a new CIMO file using what the auto DevOps template and then customize it however you need to. Awesome. All right, so if we don't get, uh, don't have any more questions from the audience, I guess today we can wrap up a little bit early. Uh, again, apologies for, you know, the resolution. I know that some of you are not able to view uh, the video, um, you know, in its most, in, in, in the best resolution. So uh, we will be sending a recording of uh, the session today uh, to all of you. Um, just wanted to reiterate that. Um, Again, thank you for uh, attending this demo and live Q&A session. Uh, this is something new that we are trying, so we'd love to hear what your thoughts are on today's session and would really appreciate your responses to our survey, which I'll drop in the chat. We also would like to invite you to sign up for a free trial of GitLab Ultimate. I'll drop that link as well. And finally, if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach us via our sales contact page about gitlab.com slash sales. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks all.